Hello from Seoul? Let me guess, you're craving some nice and crispy fried chicken. So you spent 30 minutes driving and got some takeout. But when you got home and opened the box, there was cold and soggy fried chicken, unlike your expectation. But what if I say you can make the ultimate crispy fried chicken at home within 20 minutes? What do you say? Today, we are making chicken katsu, Japanese-style crispy fried chicken. Yes, that's right. It's basically the same as tonkatsu that you might have had at Japanese restaurants. But with chicken, you have been like 10 times easier than the pork version. So if you're a beginner cook, now it's time to give it a shot. You will need chicken, egg, flour, breadcrumbs, and cabbage. For information, I'm gonna use this cabbage for the side dish. So if you're not a big fan of cabbage, you can use other vegetables. No problem at all. First, let's prep the chicken. Today, I'm using chicken breast. But if you prefer chicken thighs, go ahead and use it. As you guys already know, Claire loves chicken breast. That's why I'm using this. That's right, this is how I survive. If you're married or going to get married soon, remember, this is reality. Now, if you look at your chicken breast, you will find it's not even in thickness. Which means when it's deep fried, some parts might be overcooked, but others might be undercooked. So let's make it even. How? Just put it in a plastic bag and pound it up with a meat mallet, saucepan, or wine bottle. It's been a tough week, then even your fist will do the job. So don't worry about it. But don't make this poor little chicken into mushy. It's not your boss. Once it gets nice and flat, season both sides with salt and pepper, but not too much. Because we're gonna make a dipping sauce anyhow. Now for the breading station, take out some trays and fill them with flour, eggs, and some panko breadcrumbs. What? No panko? Don't worry about it. It. Just use leftover bread and put them in a food processor. You wanna know one secret? That would be more delicious. Now let's grab a piece of chicken and toss it in the flour. Make sure it gets all around and shake off the excess. And then move on to the egg and breadcrumbs. Here, you need to cover with a good amount of breadcrumbs and gently press it down so that it can't stick to the surface. Otherwise, you might end up with some naked cutlets that nobody wants. Alright, the chicken is ready. Let's get cooking. The best temperature for this guy is 160 to 170 degrees Celsius or 320 to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you reach the temperature, add in the chicken. Depending on the size of your chicken, fry for about 6 to 8 minutes. Here, do not overcrowd the pan and do this in batches, like one or two at a time would be perfect. Otherwise, you will lower the oil temperature too quickly. That means you can't get this kind of perfectly cooked chicken katsu. Once your chicken is done, take it out and let it rest on a cooling rack. This way, the excess oil will drain off and give you that light and crispy texture. You don't have a cooling rack? Then just put your chopsticks on a plate and place your fried chicken on top of them. That will totally work. Meanwhile, let's prep the cabbage. When you go to a Japanese restaurant, you always get some shredded cabbage as a side dish, right? That's what we're gonna do. So you need to slice it as thinly as possible. You're not confident with the knife skills? Then just grab a vegetable peel it's gonna be way easier. Once you're done, soak them in cold water and set it aside. Now for the dressing, you can actually use your personal favorite because making your own dressing is quite inefficient. What? You wanna see my version? Alright, let me show you an amazing sesame dressing. First, with a mortar and pestle, grind 3 tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. And then add 1 tablespoon of sugar, 5 tablespoons of cupid mayo, 1 tablespoon of vinegar, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, a half tablespoon spoon of toasted sesame oil, a pinch of salt, and give it a good mix. What? You're on a diet? So no mayonnaise? Then you can replace it with some yogurt. Still gonna be good. Next, let's make a dipping sauce. Put 6 tablespoons of ketchup, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, a half tablespoon of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, and give that a good mix. That's it. Alright, everything is ready. Let's start plating. Put some cabbage on a plate and add some rice. For a little bit more color, I'm gonna add some tomato and black sesame seeds. It looks way better, right? And then slice 
slice up our chicken and place it on the other side. That's it, it's absolutely easy, right? But the taste is not gonna be simple. All right, let's go to our taste tester. Claire. Wow, Ooh. looks like it just came out of a Japanese restaurant. I'm super excited. Let me try. Yogo, 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 Mmm, wow. Because I know Adam made the dressing. <웃음> 오, 위에 뭔가 깨가 막 엄청 많이 있는 게 느껴진다. 단순한 소스가 아니구나. Ready? 음, 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 음. 사 확실히 다르네. 오, 엄청 꽃이다. 음. 음, it's so fragrant. Mm. I don't always say chicken thighs are more flavorful, but I don't know. I just love the white chicken breast better. Especially when it's deep fried like this. It is so moist and tender on the inside. So if you're not a big fan of chicken breast, why don't you try this out? It's not gonna be boring anymore. By the way, where's the miso soup? I need some miso soup. <laughs> What if I say you can make another Japanese dish with this cutlet? For those of you, I brought this chicken katsudon. For this, you will need egg, onion, green onion, a bowl of rice, and chicken cutlet. Everything you need is pretty much like in your pantry, right? So once you've made this chicken katsu, I really want you to give it a try. You will see yourself writing a comment like thank you. You're always welcome. First, slice a quarter of an onion. It doesn't have to be too thin, so you can go however thick you want. Next, chop some green onion for garnish. Once you're done, crack two eggs and mix this up. We still want some separation between the whites and the yolks because this will make your dish more beautiful. So please do not overstir this. Now for the sauce, we need dashi, Japanese soup stock. But to make dashi, you need this kind of bonito flakes and some dried kelp, which are a little tricky to work with. So today, I'm gonna use this hondashi. With this bad boy, you may think you should open a Japanese restaurant or something because this makes everything easy and delicious. Put a quarter teaspoon of hondashi into 100 milliliters of water. Keep adding one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of mirin, a half tablespoon of sugar and mix it all together. That's it. Couldn't be any easier, right? All right, let's get cooking. Add the sauce and the onions into a pan and place it over medium heat. Once the onions get softened, place your chicken cutlet into the sauce and then pour the eggs all around the chicken. Lastly, sprinkle some green onions, cover with the lid, and let them steam for about one minute. When the eggs are slightly set, slide everything over the rice. How does it look? It looks exactly the same as the one in Japanese restaurants, right? What? Even better? Thank you. All right, let's see how it tastes. Claire? Oh, 대박. 왜 치킨 같이 너무 귀여운 거 아니야? 도레미 파솔라시도. Let me try. 이것도 치킨 카츠부터 먹어보겠다. 가운데 있는 이 녀석. 우후. 대박. Ready? 음. 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 맛있네. 엄청. 음. 와. 음. 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 아까에 
비하면 바삭한 맛은 확실히 떨어질 수밖에 없는데 얘네들이 소스를 잔뜩 흡수해가지고 너무 맛있는 맛이 확 입에서 퍼져. 너무 맛있다. 너무 촉촉하니 너무 맛있는데? 음. 이번엔 밥이랑 먹어봐야겠어. Let me try with rice. <웃음> I want to make it pretty. Lots of onions and egg. See? It looks super moist. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 계란이 진짜 풍신풍신하니 너무 맛있어. <웃음> 보기에는 계란이 다 익어 보이는데 중간중간 그 치킨 카스 사이사이에 계란이 반숙처럼 다 있어가지고 너무 부드럽고 맛있어. 음. 닭가슴살은 원래 다이어트 할때 먹는 건데 이런 식으로 맨날 먹었다가 큰일 나겠다. <웃음> Today I showed you how to make Japanese style crispy fried chicken. As you can see, it's really simple but super delicious. So there's no reason not to try this. Once you give it a shot, you may taste the best chicken katsu that you ever had. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.